I'm Science Mom, and in this video, I'm going to tell you five things that you should know about the new coronavirus. Number one, you've been sick with the coronavirus before. Have you ever had a cold, sore throat, cough, a runny nose, and that congested feeling that everything up here is all plugged up? Well, the cold is caused by more than 200 different types of viruses. Most of them are what we call rhinoviruses or coronaviruses. So if you have ever had a cold, there's a pretty good chance that you have been exposed to a coronavirus. The name of the new coronavirus is SARS-CoV-2, and it causes a disease that is called COVID-19. This new coronavirus is a bit more dangerous than the common cold, but most people who get the new coronavirus will make a complete recovery and be just fine afterwards. There are a lot of different types of viruses, and they all have different symptoms and different rates for how deadly and dangerous they are. Rabies is one of the most deadly viruses we know of. It has a mortality rate of almost 100%. Ebola has a mortality rate of 50%. That means that out of the people who get infected with it, almost half of them die. COVID-19 has a mortality rate of between 1% and 2%. So for 100 people that get infected with this new coronavirus, 98 to 99 of them will make a complete recovery and be just fine. And for a lot of them, it might feel just like a common cold. It won't be very serious or dangerous. But COVID-19 is contagious and we want to stop it from spreading so that it doesn't have a big impact. Because although 1% is small, if the virus spread worldwide, many people would be affected. With any contagious virus, like the new coronavirus or the flu, there are things you can do to reduce your chance of getting sick, and they are to wash your hands and not pick your nose. Grown-ups always say not to pick your nose, and if you're an observant kid, you've probably seen grown-ups picking their noses when they think nobody is looking. But the truth is, that's one of the easiest ways to make yourself sick. Viruses can actually survive for a while on a surface like a doorknob or a table. So if someone who is sick touches a doorknob or touches a table and then you touch that same surface and then put your finger inside your nose, you've just put the virus inside your body and then it can start to infect you and make you sick. So one of the best bits of advice I can give you is to not touch your face during cold and flu season or when there's something happening like this new coronavirus spreading around. Don't touch your face, and then make sure that you wash your hands correctly. If you get your hands wet and then dry them off, that is not good hand washing. You need to wash for at least 20 seconds, and to do that, I think it helps to sing a little song. Rub, rub, rub your hands, get them nice and clean. On the top and underneath, especially in between. One verse is not enough to get the job well done. Sing it twice, that's my advice, then the germs are gone. If you wash your hands before you eat, that will do a lot to prevent you from getting sick. But what if you do get sick? How can you prevent other people around you from catching that virus? Stay home when you're sick, especially if you have a fever or a clear runny nose. If you have a runny nose and a fever, that's when you are most contagious. So if you can stay home, that will really do a lot to protect other people from catching the virus that you have. And when you cough, cough into your elbow, <coughs> don't cough into your hands like that because then you've just put virus particles all over your hands. Cough into your elbow, throw tissues away right after you blow your nose. Those things will make a very big difference in helping other people not to catch the germs that are making you sick. And the last fact that you should know is that this has happened before and it will happen again. In the last few years, we have had outbreaks of viruses, SARS, MERS, H1N1, and now the new coronavirus. This is a normal part of life, and it will happen again because viruses are always mutating and evolving. The World Health Organization and the Center for Disease Control have scientists who study this and are working on ways to better protect us from emerging viruses, because we know that it's not a matter of if we'll have another one, but when. And when it does happen, these two websites are some of the best places you can go for information. I hope you learned something new today and that you'll always remember to wash your hands properly. That's one of the best things you can do to prevent yourself and others from getting sick. And to any teachers and parents watching, if you'd like to print a little handout with a hand washing song and some facts about viruses and germs, there is a link in the description. I hope you'll check it out. 
Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon.